did a fantastic job, eloquent in the presentation. The substance was great. The president is co continuing his agenda of transforming this country. You could have seen it in the various initiatives supported in education, the various bills that are passing through our parliament so that we can truly uh, bring about uh, the kind of education system we want to create, the fact that we're embarking on curricular reform that would change teaching and learning from root memorization to a place where children uh, will become critical uh, thinkers, uh, creative individuals, uh, collaborative learners, and effective communicators. These are the soft skills underlining the various content that we are delivering in mathematics, in English, in social studies, in history especially, and all other courses. The goal is very simple. Ghana has to transform itself through education. Teaching drops. You have confidence in investors. What we are looking for is foreign direct investment. And foreign direct investment will not go to a country where the inflation rate is high, where you have not stabilized your currency, where you are not training your students well so that they will be assured that the quality labor and manpower, where you have the vast majority of your graduates unemployed. That is why we call NAPCO trainees. They are picking up industry skills so that when industry, people are looking at Ghana, they are looking at a country where there will be quality experience labor that they can use to make profit. And that is what will increase the foreign direct investment. And the fundamentals are right. The indicators are good. We are in a place where we can, uh, in fact, leapfrog and move our economy out of the doldrums that we found ourselves before we took over government.